look at this look how little land space that they have oh my goodness temperature is way off nothing was right about this i don't think we have enough staff an animal has escaped you decided to get up and escape huh bro where are you going no get back over here ignoring the work zone and everything we definitely are gonna have our work cut out for us fires lake island zoo all right and here we go hey there you'd better sit down for this i've got some news uh -oh. A week ago, Bernie went missing in the Arctic. Ha, I know. I only just found out. Apparently, our illustrious board of governors decided it was best not to tell anyone while the search parties were still out looking for him. But a few days ago, they called off the search. And they hadn't found him. So, they had him declared legally dead. Just so they could sell off all of Bernie's zoos. Everything, from the aardvarks to the zebras. They that was kind of quick. For Bernie's daughter Emma to get back from overseas before they cashed in. They offloaded the whole company to a slimy hedge fund manager called Dominic Myers. Mark my words, he only wants the zoos to help buff out his tarnished image. Anyway, I guess he's your new boss now. Not mine though. He fired me. Good luck. Nancy. I know you'll do your best. I know you'll protect the animals. I mean, Nancy and I didn't get along great, but I mean, I didn't want her to get fired. Ah, oh, there you are. First, let me say how sorry I am that we're meeting in such awful circumstances. I was a great admirer of Benjamin. Wait, no, Bernard, Bernard. You may not know this, but we were actually very good friends. That's why it's going to be such an honor to continue his life's work of letting people pay me to see animals. I can see you're still sad, though. Now, perhaps this will lift your spirits. I'm making you senior zoo manager. It's a position of great responsibility, although these same wages. I've also bought a new zoo, which you're going to be in charge of. It's a bit of a fixer-upper, but it's nothing you can't handle. All you have to do is make the animals happy, get those annoying protesters to leave, expand the zoo as gosh, adopt a grizzly bear and a Siberian tiger, make sure the zoo is extremely profitable, and then just pass a teeny tiny little inspection. Trust me, you'll have more spare time than you know what to do with. Oh, and uh, also you have to research some bears or something. I forget the details. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and pause. You know, we only have to do a couple of things. All right, so I have at least 1,150 guests in the zoo for three months. Uh, more attractive animals, of course, get more guests, and have no protesters. That is what we need to accomplish to do the bronze objective. And then, of course, silver is going to be a bit more difficult, and then uh, gold is going to be the hardest of all, like always. And, oh my goodness, I cannot believe they have declared him dead. They have declared Bernie dead. That is, is horrible. And Nancy Jones... Fired? I cannot believe this. I am in shock right now. I need a moment. So I'm gonna take a moment, I'm gonna look around the zoo, figure out where we need to start, and I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, so after looking for just a moment, we definitely are gonna have our work cut out for us. If we come over here to our animal alerts, first and foremost, we see that the hyenas have attracted protesters. The zebras have also attracted protesters. The Titan beetle is not in its ideal temperature. The yellow anaconda is not in its ideal humidity. And the enclosure for the zebras are way too small. So yeah, we definitely have our work cut out for us to get rid of protesters. Let's go ahead and click on the hyena and find out exactly where the hyenas are located and what is going on with them. Let's start at the top work our way down we're gonna leave it paused for a bit though as we go through here so welfare what is your problem they don't have enough space all right so the hyenas do not have enough space let's take a quick look and see how many animals are in here it looks like it's just just the one we have just one hyena and there is not enough space okay now after taking a look around for a while once again and so i've looked at all the other animals in the zoo there are a total of 27 different species in the zoo right now uh we have some turtles up here just trying to look at what we could do we see that our our mandrel have absolutely no climbing space no navigable climbing space so they're not going to be happy at all we know that our zebras are already not happy we have 
our aardvarks over here, which are not enriched at all either. They have no hard terrain. At least they have enough navigable space. If we come over here, we have our, I believe this is the Nala. Yeah, so this is the Nala. They actually have everything that they need, so they're fairly happy. Next door are the zebras. Look at this. Look how little land space that they have that they actually need but i do know if we come through here then we do open up to the draft so what i'm wondering is maybe if we could just edit this barrier a bit here see if it'll allow me to just remove that and processors look like they're leaving high amounts of litter yeah so this zoo is absolutely horrible so let's see if we're gonna get anyone back over here to take a look at like the zebra enclosure protesters are leaving good y'all gonna get Still quite haven't figured out what to do with the hyena as of yet. So let's run over to the hyena for now. For now, I say let's go ahead and place our hyena in the trade center. Just for now. Just for now. Can we figure out something else going on? All right. Uh, the Titan Beetle. Go ahead and fix their welfare issues. Oh my goodness. Temperature is way off. And so is the humidity. Nothing was right about this. Go ahead and dial those up a little bit. All right, there we go. So the Titan Beetle is now happy with its enclosure. So the Yellow Anaconda is not happy with its humidity. Go take a look at the Yellow Anaconda, fix it. This dude does not need to have a zoo at all. African elephant habitat is not clean. Uh, risk of disease. Okay, that looks like the water itself means that we definitely need to put in some type of water filtration system. So for now, what I'm thinking that we can do is we can take the water treatment and maybe put it in the enclosure with the with the elephant for a moment just to uh, help with that. I mean, that's not really the best of ideas, but I'm not really seeing another location where we can really do anything. Once again, just immediately thrown into craziness that is uh, some of these some of these scenario zoos, which is actually quite a bit of fun. Okay, so the original plan to put a water treatment area in the enclosure for the elephant is definitely not gonna pan out. And after doing a bit more checking, there's actually no power in this area either. Still trying to figure out exactly what we're gonna do with our elephant. I think for now, we're going to go ahead and maybe send our animal to the trade center for now until we figure out how to get some power into this area. Let's go ahead and definitely get the elephant sent over to the trade center for now. I'm gonna, going to continue working on this and see what I can come up with to be able to still provide the elephant all the space she needs as well as actually have this area um, powered. Uh, so I will work on that and I will be back with you in just a few minutes. Okay, so still trying to figure out what to do. The only thing I could come up with was to adjust the elephant's enclosure just a bit and move it from around the rock facing there and move it over this way. That would allow me to utilize this area for the generator as well as the water treatment. So we can go ahead and unpause now. And there is a null path actually that stretches across there, right through there so that uh, our staff can still get over there to them go ahead and grab our elephant out of the trade center and bring her back home all right and now we're just waiting on them to uh, bring us our elephant back i've also off camera done a little bit of working on a little bit of work on pricing and stuff like that trying to make sure that the zoo is still making money so that we have plenty of money to be able to work on some of the things that we need to do is our elephant back yes our elephant is, has been returned why is she laying down Still has plenty of land, still has plenty of uh, water. That's good. Brain is not the best, but we can work on that. So she has some moderate welfare uh, issues. So let's take a look at that. Social is good, nutrition, severe issues. So let's go ahead and call the keeper to feed her, see if that'll help. Thank you. It's such a relief not to have the sound of those protesters in my ears all the time. I wouldn't mind so much if they paid to get in. Still, despite those losses, my accountants tell me you've hit the profit forecast. Good news, my friend. This month, you get paid. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't like him. Okay, and so while doing a lot of thinking, I have come up with the idea to go ahead and put our giraffe and our zebra in with our elephant. And they seem to be getting along just fine. They all seem to have plenty of uh, plenty of things to do in here, and they're, they're getting along pretty well. They've been in here almost a full day at this point. Uh, the giraffe is about to have offspring. Hello, you're about to have a baby. You look a little uncomfortable, ma'am. Ah, we have had a baby giraffe. Hello, little one. Welcome into the world. 
Okay, so that is what I came up with for here. So if we go ahead and check this, we are at 1609 for three months. And so we're at almost a month. So we're working on that and have 14 species in the zoo. We're currently at nine. I'm continuing to work on that as we go throughout. And so the common warthog does get along quite well with the, where's this dude at? We just, uh, we just got us a new animal, our African buffalo, and I believe they get along quite well. So perhaps we can bring them over here and they can have this area that the giraffe and the zebra had. I'm trying to move animals around because we have to have 14. It's a very small area that we have here to work in. We can move animals into other enclosures. So that's what I'm working on now and actually going through and taking a look and making Making sure that the animals that we put into the new enclosures are going to be happy as well because that's that's definitely going to be important mm, i don't know what this guy has done with the zoo but we definitely need to make sure that our animals are happy priority for me is definitely always going to be the animals making sure that we get the animals taken care of the guests are important as well don't get me wrong and our staff is important as well but we definitely need to make sure that we have our animals well taken care of okay and while moving some animals around we have completed the the earn a yearly profit of $20,000 and have at least 1,600 guests in the zoo. So we're still working to have at least 14 habitat species and still working on putting in our grizzly bear. I do not want to put in the grizzly bear until we get some other things moved around first, but we are definitely working on that. So I've called a bit of an audible. We're going to be changing locations for our, our giraffes once more. As soon as, uh, as soon as the daylight comes up, we've moved our African buffalo over here for now because I forgot that the African buffalo likes to have water. So put it in here with the elephant and we'll go ahead and send all of our giraffes into the trade center for now, as well as where, oh, where did our zebras go? I know we had a bunch of zebras. Ah. Here's one now. So we'll send them to the trade center as well because they will get along with our common warthogs that are in the other enclosure. So we can do that and save this space for some additional animals. So let's run back over here to where we originally had our giraffes right over here and we will bring them and put them right back where we got them from originally. We will schedule them to be relocated back over here. This little dude over here, our Nala, does not seem to get along with anyone else so i'm trying to decide if the nala is actually going to stay with us or not at this point i'm going to continue working on this and coming up with some ideas and i will be back with you in just another moment or two okay and after searching for a very long time for a place that we could put our hyenas i tried putting them back where they belonged i tried giving our hyena a mate the crazy thing is the amount of space that it says that is required for the hyena this actually should work so i was looking at their uh looking at their requirements the way it says it has uh 1144 square meters i think they needed like 1200 so it should have been very very close however for some reason it said once you actually put the hyena in here that they only had 500 square meters of space so what i ended up doing was i took our hyenas and i utilized this bridge that they had pre-built for us out this way and built them a new much larger enclosure out this way now obviously it doesn't have anything in it just yet no food trays no water anything like that but they do have a, the appropriate amount of space so I was also able to take this path and direct this path and you know this is the safest path on the in the world we'll just have uh maybe our grizzly bears over in this area or something of that nature but that is uh that is what I've been working on for a very long time while I've been away so we are now actually up to I believe it's 10 animals yes we are currently up to 10 of our 14 that we need in the zoo still working to get more animals in here as best we can with the uh limited amount of space that is actually actually on this map if you zoom out quite a bit you can see there just really is not that much uh space so i'm going to continue working on a few things but one of those is we've got protesters in our zoo again because our mandrel are dehydrated apparently no one has been coming and taking care of the mandrel so we're going to fix that immediately and we are going to give them a water pipe and hopefully this will help with them so now they do have water at least hopefully it is treated it is accessible and i feel very bad for our mandrels we still don't have any place for them to climb but they've been really quiet about uh their needs so we haven't just been looking at them just too much let's let that run for a few minutes they now have access to water we'll take a look and see how that helps them out we also have a diseased 
zebra over here that we need to call the vet for so the vet has been assigned he is on his way hopefully then our warthogs are sick as well carrying the same thing and then of course another dehydrated mandrel hey guys Y'all have plenty of water right over here. Also, you have a sprinkler that you could be drinking out of. All right. So protesters, yes, hopefully leaving soon. Vet has been called. Hopefully these issues will resolve once again very soon. Still looking for some additional animals that can actually come and hang out in here. We're a little limited on space in this area. I mean, we're right at the threshold of what we can have for space. I could maybe, maybe make this area a little happier by moving this fence just a little bit but it's not gonna do much she's in the game just a little bit see or were we able to help them out it's recalculating it's close it is very close on space one thing to watch out for is the amount of uh animals that we do have in here so as soon as some of our animals age up they've got to go just as soon as they're aging up to help control space we don't have a lot of space in this zoo at all but just trying to really pay attention to the amount of animals that are in the in this particular enclosure that does help so we do still have three giraffes and and we should have two yeah we have two common warthogs in here as well oh and also our zebras how are our zebras doing they seem to be doing just fine they seem to be happy this one has not aged up yet and it is she is sick vet please we need our vet over here we may need additional vets something else that we're probably going to have to work on in this particular zoo is uh the fact that staff i don't think we have enough staff to take care of the animals so that is one thing as well that i'm going to be taking a look at here in just a moment and i'm going to be working in this journal area so i will be back with you once again in just a moment i do want to take a look at the amount of staff that we have for our zoo as well as the keepers maybe sure work zones are set up but yeah i'll be back in a minute okay and after a while playing musical animals once again then we are down to just the zebras in this enclosure with the common uh common warthogs just chilling over here next door we now have our spring box which are a new addition to the zoo our giraffes have been relocated once again back over here with the elephant and the uh the african buffalo and he now has a friend in here to hang out with oh and she's expecting an offspring wonderful so they're uh they're digging each other our aardvark are now over here still have nothing going on over here but where our aardvark used to be is now where our nala are so if we take a look at our objectives we are now at 11 of our 14 species and we still know that we need to put in the bears which will give us 12 and the Siberian tiger which will give us 13 so we really just need to find one more this one though has actually been fairly difficult with uh with the enclosures the way they are and just the amount of land that you actually have to work with this one has been fairly difficult i'm going to continue working on this and figuring out what we can do i have adopted us a male grizzly bear found him in the trade center and he was a really good deal looked like a really nice grizzly bear so we'll take a look at him in just a moment i'm going to try and find him a friend and also i'm going to see about trying to find our next animal that we can go ahead and add as well so i will continue working on this and i'll be back with you again in just a moment all right and after a long long time we are back once again we are now over here chilling with our new bears that just got added so there is our female bear and this is our male grizzly bear welfare is oh Okay, not great. It's about 42%. I have some issues like temperature. All right, and I placed a cooler right here, so hopefully they'll be a bit happier. I'll go ahead and work on some of their other issues. That took care of that, and that seems to be increasing. Temperature is, is doing well now. Let's see where they end up. Oh, good. <laughs> Now, if we just jump on the other side of the uh, enclosure, you do see that I have put in a couple of donation bins, as well as we have added the giant tiger land snail here. So we also did add in a donation bin right there for him. Still no education throughout any of our zoo though, for the most part. Uh, we did have Titan beetles when we very first started our zoo and they have since passed on. We now have two Eastern brown snakes. And then across the park, we have our yellow anaconda right over 
yeah so they're hanging out and doing doing fairly well i'm not gonna say anything in this zoo is great but you know it's better than it was we are still working on having 14 habitat we're at 13 now once we complete that we'll be able to start working on this list of goals achievements what have you to be able to reach the gold standard so the only thing that we really need to do is we can go ahead and follow this uh really dirty path right through here which brings us back up here to our hyenas who are for the most part really enjoying life uh now they uh they weren't doing so well when we first got to the zoo and they're doing a bit better they still don't have any enrichment items and that is definitely something to take a look at if we come across uh the very uh shady bridge here that we have you'll see that we do have another platform station right here so the monorail should work its way on across eventually then right over here we have a new addition which is and just recently added and we do have a uh, research center over here and then just a couple of small staff buildings nothing very special over here with a generator right over there we are looking for a friend for him so in animal trading as of right now we do not have a uh, female friend for him not as of now but hopefully that will change very soon we'll go ahead and work on his habitat since it is nighttime now not really a whole lot that we can do in here while it's nighttime and we'll give him a rubbing pillar everybody everybody i don't care if you're an american bison or a human everybody needs a good rubbing pillar every now and then now his, of course his social group is still not the best because we still do not have a friend for him and there still is not a female friend for him yet so gonna keep working on that and keep looking into uh the animal marketplace trying to get some additional things and i'll be back with you in just a couple of moments all right i'm back once more we can go ahead and unpause in animal trading we have our siberian tiger which i feel like this is not really the right environment for said tiger but uh we'll go ahead and go with it i guess and that's going to be right across from our bison which i was able to locate a friend for our bison so hopefully they will be a bit happier we do already have um one of our vets researching our bears so we'll see how that goes all right and in comes the siberian tiger well i never i'm impressed you're really turning this zoo around aren't you i'm not so sure about that grizzly bear though it's not nearly as grizzly as i was hoping Rather a mild temperament, really. Still, the customers seem to like it. We've sold out of those bear plushies in the shop. I'm rather glad about that. They were a bit of a fire risk. What do I feel like all he cares about is selling merchandise. He does not care about the animals. And our grizzly bear is a gold, gold grizzly bear. Come on now. Our grizzly bear is great. Oh no, a tiger is injured. We'll go ahead and call the vet over. And while we're waiting on uh, the vet, we'll go ahead and work on the terrain a bit. We've hired some more uh, veterinarians and quite a few more keepers, as a matter of fact, just to try and help with the... Uh, with the animals these two right here actually have uh keepers just to themselves so hopefully it will uh hopefully things will really start to pick up here soon okay so now we just need to research our grizzly bear up to level three and have at least 2200 guests in the park we're currently at 2300 and we need to do that for a total of six months and or three months and boom that's completed now all we are waiting for is the research on our grizzly bear so like i said that has already been assigned and that that is going on right now we're just waiting on that to be completed so and since old boy is money hungry i guess we'll go ahead and bump up the pricing on all of our uh all of our entry here and no one is complaining about pricing we'll keep going until someone actually complains i guess and we're up to 50 dollars for adults and 50 dollars for children and still no one complaining wow i don't know that i've ever increased prices this high before all right let's go up another five dollars we'll go to 55 and 55 and we'll go ahead and push time along a little bit faster and people are still just coming on into the zoo i love that though i love when people are coming into the zoo this zoo has definitely been a bit of a challenge an animal has escaped hello you decided to get up and escape huh let's uh let's capture you and take a look at your zoopedia real quick to see how high do your walls need to be and we'll go up to uh, we'll go up to six meters why not in most places there we go that way we don't have any escaping tigers anymore i'm gonna work on the uh enclosure here a little bit while we're waiting on our Siberian tiger to be placed back into the enclosure i personally don't like having the uh the pillars in the way of trying to see see our beautiful animals that's what everyone is here for so i try to do it as much in one span as possible or at least do it up like that so there's some viewing area 
Now, where are all of our keepers? Oh, it'd help if I would unpause. Yeah, let's go ahead and speed along time here. All right, and finally, our veterinarian has started research, it would appear. And where did he go? Bro, where are you going? No, you, all you're supposed to be doing is research. I have you said do nothing but research. Stay and do research. All right, we're going to put him in his own little work zone so that we can actually get things done here. And get back over here. Ignoring the work zone and everything. He's in his own work zone absolutely no reason why he should be going anywhere else okay maybe it's just glitching it says that he is researching so we'll just go with it so we're just gonna speed a long time it is uh september 26th let's see uh when we actually get some research done all right and finally july of july 4th of year 11 i thought that we had completed it there it is finished done and dusted well, that new siberian tiger is rather good isn't it I've always been fond of cats. I can't have one, though. I'm not allergic. It's just that when people see a wealthy person like myself stroking a cat, they just assume he's planning world domination. PR nightmare. That's the last thing I need more of. The zoo's looking good, though. Nice big profits. Lots of different animals. Excellent. Oh, and you passed the inspection. Did you bribe the inspector? <laughs> uh, although, in all seriousness, if you did, I won't be able to reimburse you without a receipt. <laughs> uh, got you again. <laughs> you know, I think you and I are very similar people. We both know how to squeeze a dollar until it bleeds. It's good to have someone with a pragmatic mind like yours on the staff. After all, we've got to keep the animals happy, but we've got to keep the accountants even happier. Especially given all the tax loopholes I make them jump through. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, got you again, didn't I? Honestly, this business is completely above board. Yeah, he and I are definitely not the same. Not even at all. But that is definitely going to conclude today's episode of Planet Zoo. I hope you have enjoyed this content. <laughs> if you did, please make sure you hit the like button and comment down below. And also, if you did enjoy this one, check out the link to our sandbox video right here. Thanks so much and have a great day.